Dick. Uh, as I told you, I'm going to prepare this video for you. Um, this vehicle here is the 2015 Canyon, and it is the four-cylinder. If I remember correctly, we were looking for the four-cylinder earlier. This is going to be about as standard as it can come, but uh, it comes with a lot of, it's probably not an operative word because it comes with a lot of options, so that's probably right. not a real good way to describe this truck. First thing I want to talk about is the patented uh, front grill. Um, not only does it look nicer than everything out there, real aggressive look, but it has some functionality as to what it is. It's a patented grill. What it does is it'll actually open and shut based on speed, um, which is going to help you in the winters as far as keeping your radiator either hot or cold, which is going to make your car run more efficiently, not run as hard to keep its temperature and to regulate itself and so forth. Um, so you can see it's got nice big alloy wheels. This particular one is red, Dick. Um, we have another one just like it. It's going to be here any second. It might be here today and it's going to be black. So if you don't like this one, we got a black one right now. And then of course we're going to have some other ones. I got about four more other ones, some 4 by 4 some not. The rest of them are sixes right now. So this is the only standard type 4 cylinder we have. Um, and it is a crew cab. So, and I'm going to show you that here in a little, little minute. But right now I just kind of want to show you the sides. Give you a good profile of that vehicle when you get out of your way. Um, but uh, you can notice uh, the bed here. One of the other things I want to do while I'm outside is notice the patent on the bed. Um, so we have a grip here. So when you get in, I'm going to get in my suit and I'm going to jump in the back of my truck. So as you can see, very easy to get in the back of this truck. Um, and you'll notice that in the back of the bed, we have really nice tie downs. You can't see them right now, but we got real tie downs on the back. Um, we got a real area here to put your 2x4 across the beds to make a two-tiered bed. Um, so that's it. You know, that's it. It's class on its own. No one else on a compact truck is going to have that type of stuff on your bed. Um, and to be quite honest, there's not a whole lot of compact trucks. So um, I think it's just Toyota that we compete against for the most part there. Um, so again, you got the step here and you got the, the hold on there as far as you have a little place to hold there. There's also, on, the, on this vehicle, oh, there's lights underneath this bed rail. You can't see them, but when we turn them on from the inside, we can light this back bed. And of course, it'll have the lights up here. So, you know, a lot of good stuff, functionality when you're using this truck. Um, uh, one of the other thing I like is if you kind of look at that side profile, to kind of make this car look a little beefy with bringing this out here um, as far as the fender flare. I think that makes the truck look real nice. You know, nice aluminum polished wheels there. Um, I'm going to start in the back because we're kind of back here. Um, I got my seat. That's where I drive. So I'm a 5'10 guy. That's where that seat setting was for me. I'm going to just jump in the back here for you so you can kind of see the kind of room you have here. I'm 5'10. I got probably six inches above my head, so I guess I could be a six foot six guy and sit in the back, but I think my legs might be a little long. But but literally, I'm, I'm as comfortable as you can. You know, I don't need any more room back here if I were driving. Maybe a six foot guy or longer, longer legs it has to bring it back. Might have to drive, but right now, if I were driving, I'll sit back here all day long, all the way to Florida with you if you want. Um, so as you can see, it's got a nice little storage area for the utility of this vehicle so things won't roll around. A lot of the other trucks, they don't have anything there. Things are going to roll around, your jack's in there, and the other seat also does the same thing. Um, so it's a 60-40 split bench. You also got a, on this one, you got a little outlet here if you want to charge something up and so forth in the back. Um, let's go to the front here, Dick. So I'm going to stay out of the way right now so you can kind of see it. Um, so there's this vehicle has the power windows, power locks, which is called a convenience package, which is one of the only options on this truck that is on this particular truck. I think it's an important one. Most people are going to want your keyless entry at least and so forth. So we have an adjustable seat front and back, up and down. Uh, and then there's also a tilting feature. And then this is your backrest right here. Um, this particular one is cloth. And I actually like the cloth on these seats. They're real nice. Um, so with that, I'm just going to go ahead and start the vehicle and show you a few options on this truck. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of options, but you know what? That's not a real good operative word for this truck. It's, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of standard stuff. I mean, and to be quite honest, uh, this is the first four-cylinder that I drove that you talked about because they're pretty rare. I haven't seen them yet, but so they're, 
they, they must, you know, just be starting to come with them as far as shipping them out. Because uh, it's the first one I've seen, and I, like I said, I got a black one that I, it's going to arrive any day like that right now. So, um, and it's a peppy four cylinder. I, I, I took it out, I, I wanted to see, you know, how it felt. Man, it's got plenty of power. Um, and it gets, uh, on the highway, I want to think it's listed at 27 miles to the gallon. So that's pretty darn good on it. So as you can see, this is just kind of pretty self-explanatory instrument panel, your power door windows, locks are there. You got a nice cup holder here, nice map pockets, two different levels of map pockets, nice storage um, on the vehicle. We can control the cruise control from here, um, and then that's what this is here, if you see that, which this does have it. Again, it's part of that group package that have, has intermittent wipers, um, you know, AM, FM stereo, uh, got anti-spin here, which is this button down here. And then the cargo light lamps that I talked about that are in the back right here. Um, this is where you control all your uh, your, uh, your climate. Down here, it's got the smart stuff for your phone. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got your plug-in if you got an iPad, USB plug-in port if you need one. And again, there's another another outlet here there as well. And then here's your glove. Here's your center console with your cup holders. Very nice. And then it's got nice deep. Uh, what we call, you know, right here again in the council part of the council, uh, and it's got a really nice deep spot there um, to put stuff, whatever you do. And then, of course, it has your traditional glove box as well. It does have your OnStar, so OnStar is pretty much your, you know, turn by turn navigation if you want. That is a separate charge after six months. First charge, I'm going to give you the full package for free. There's three levels of packages that you'd actually go into agreement with OnStar. I want to say your biggest one is a $250 a year package, and that covers everything. I mean, it'll, they'll make reservations for you on the go, so when you pull up to your restaurant or your hotel, they'll know who you are and where you're at, and you go straight to where you're at, and they'll have all your information. So um, That's pretty much it. I'm going to show you the sticker here. This one here, if you look here, the only options that you have on this vehicle are these two options, which are pretty much things I think you're probably going to want. Uh, but this is your options part of the vehicle. Uh, the MSRP is 27320 and uh, again, that's something me and you can talk about when we get here and take a look at the vehicle or if you, we can determine it's the right vehicle for you. Um, so, give me a call. Hopefully we'll see you here soon. I know you're a busy guy, Dick. I can't wait to meet you. Take care now.